Everybody and welcome once again to Sports Talk 920. I am your host Michael Goodman, and uh, got a got some stuff here to talk about. A little bit more going on in the world of sports. Uh, of course, uh, we talked about last week the, the Kevin Durant story. Dive right into it here. Um, last week, you know, we we're talking that that it sounded 90% likely that that uh, Kevin Durant was going to stay with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Well. Not quite the case, as uh, as you, you all know by now, um, he decided to jump ship and join the Golden State Warriors, and um, and really has gotten a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of a lot of heat, and you know I, I guess I understand some of it, you know some of the fan reaction, um, some of it I, I don't quite understand, you know especially if you are. Uh, uh, you know, Oklahoma City Thunder fan that was was hoping that you know they were a game away from potentially you know getting to the finals last year, um, but you know and and could, they could potentially do that you know do that again next year, maybe. But I, I think we all know going into that series that that the Golden State Warriors were the better team, and uh, you know if if. Uh, you know, now the adding Kevin Durant to the Golden State Warriors, I think it's going to make him that much better. You know, as long as the chemistry fits, and I think he liked liked how things you know were were handled or how the culture is in the Golden State Warriors locker room or how how they they treat each other, and and that was part of his decision too. So I mean, you know, and with these athletes nowadays, you know, I've I've been going out and, and saying it you know a lot this week is. You're in, a, you're in a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. You know, if he would have stayed in Oklahoma City for the money or went somewhere for the money, you know, people are going to rip on, on him for that. That you know, or the only reason that uh, he stayed in Oklahoma City is that he took the bigger contract and and kind of handcuffed the the Oklahoma City Thunder because of his his large contract. And he all he cares about is money. He doesn't care about winning. And you know, now going off and 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 joining joining the Warriors obviously and he took a pay cut to do so that not all he cares about you know is winning and he doesn't care about you know hometown loyalty blah 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 and and really I mean I think we've, we've seen this enough in sports especially nowadays that that you know loyalty loyalty is whoever pays you the most or, or whatever but or where you feel, you know, more comfortable going. I mean, loyalty. There is no loyalty. I guess. I guess I should say. Um, but you know, I guess the reason, one of the main reasons why Kevin Durant is is getting ripped on for, um, you know, making the move to to joining a, a quote unquote super team, is that he was pretty pretty boisterous, or he's. He made it open his feelings pretty well open or uh, when LeBron James did it to um, did it to uh, go to go to Miami back in back in the decision was that back in 2009 and um, you, you know parts of that's you know people saying you know now they now they give you know the people that hated LeBron James for leaving for Miami to kind of win that championship your championships before, you know, coming back to Cleveland and winning it this year. Um, didn't like him for it, but um, now gaining him a little more respect for doing so because, you know, yeah, I agree that, that Cleveland didn't have the talent around them or, or couldn't maybe get the talent around them that, that uh, even Oklahoma City Thunder had. But, but really, I don't think Oklahoma City was going to get um, – 
you know, they, they can't form a super team. Basically, the only reason why they are where they are is because uh, uh, their general manager does a hell of a job drafting you know, these players in at, at a reasonable, reasonable price. And you know, Russell Westbrook probably going to be gone. And you got to hope that if you're a Thunder fan, that either with without Kevin Durant that you can still sustain some success or that, you know, once uh, Russell Westbrook, you know, maybe does get traded or leaves next year, you know, hopefully for, I think for the Thunder, maybe thinking kind of doing the baseball move, seeing if you can get something um, out of that deal instead of just seeing him walk in free agency for, for nothing. Um, and that, that you hope that you can build some sort of a halfway decent team because they're, they're a smaller market team. Um, so it's, it's, uh, it's kind of crazy how that, the, the turn of the NBA free agency. And even when we did the show last Saturday, just went for a, uh, a big kind of turn, uh, to say the least. And, and especially too, that, um, you know, another guy, Dwayne Wade, you know, we we're talking about him, you know, had that meeting with the Bucks. I think it got canceled. I don't think he ever, ever went. I know he, he ends up, you know, signing a two-year, $47 million contract with the uh, Chicago Bulls. And for the first time ever in his career is the highest paid player on his team. Kind of crazy to think at this point of his career that he's able to do that. And, uh, um, you know, kind of returning home again and, you know, towards the, the I think, the later end of his career. Um, and then kind of had a messy situation, I think, leaving Miami. It wasn't the best of best of terms that they left on and um well i guess that that'll be all in the past now but with the, the you know the two big big free agents that that kind of hit the market this year i i think if we you know would have looked back you know i know some people are looking at some of the names that are on on next year's free agent list i think there's i, I can't i can't think of, of who's on there i don't i don't know um but you know back when last year we were looking at who was going to be a free agent this year I think, you know, Rudy and I talked about it. You know, I think we would have thought Kevin Durant, we would have thought um, Dwayne Wade would have stayed where they were. Put where they were. I think kind of even the same thing back when LeBron um, went back to Cleveland, you know, that year before or even the months leading up to it that you thought, hey, maybe he he will stay, you know, in Miami or, or in the, for their respective teams. But um, especially now with the, with the salary cap going up, you know, money does talk. And uh, I think I think if I read this correctly today too, that the GM spending so much money in free agency that the cap is not going to go up quite as much as as initially uh, uh, expected. Um, so that's kind of kind of where we sit now. Um, so you know the two big moves in NBA free agency are are I guess done. Um, a lot more money probably still going to be flowing around. You know the. The Bucks trade with the Cavaliers for Matthew Dellavedova uh, did go through. Um, I can't remember the player and cash considerations that they did. Some some developmental guy that they traded for, and uh, uh, you know that's kind of a sign and trade type of deal that they worked out there. And and the other Russian dude that they they signed that that was finally finalized this week. Even though a lot of that stuff was basically settled beforehand. So, yeah, NBA still still hitting the still hitting the the highlights of, of kind of the sports world right now, especially as we, we head into the into the All Star break here. And and again, if you want to check out, um, you know, obviously the the starters have been announced for the the MLB um, the All Star teams. I guess have have been announced the whole the whole kit and caboodle starters and and reserves included. And uh, right now they do have the vote in players. But if you want to check out who I, well, the Sports Talk 920 would have put in the All-Star game. We do this every year. You can check it, check it out on our blog at sportstalk920.blogspot.com. Again, without stuttering, I'll say it again, uh, sportstalk920.blogspot.com. Um, so a little bit different. You know, one guy, uh, you know, as far as the Milwaukee Brewers are concerned, you have – um, Ryan Braun, who didn't get in, he probably eventually will get in, into the um, All Star game when when people sit out and stuff like that. If he doesn't get that that fan vote, which 
Um, last I heard, he was dead last in the vote, but that was a couple days ago. Voting did conclude today. I, I didn't see who won the vote or if that was even released yet. But, um, you know, I, I think that really just kind of dict or just not determines where Ryan Braun stands. You know, a, a guy, you know, before his PED scandal, he was a fan favorite. And, and right now, I mean, I think people – you know, especially he's, he, the Brewers are, are kind of starting that trade trade motion. The Brewers traded, you know, Aaron Hill yesterday to the, the Boston Red Sox. So they're starting their activity now. I, I'm sure, you know, as a fan, especially non-Brewers fans, would would welcome, you know, change their opinion to make a playoff push or a pennant race or whatever um, to get Ryan Braun on their team. But, you know, and I think that's still even a little bit true in Milwaukee. I mean, you, you know, when people root for him, I know people get mad, but you root for him because he's a good player. But I don't think he gets the, the Jonathan Lucroy cheers, um, you know, like Jonathan Villar. You know, he's playing pretty well. And I think he, he was a guy, too, that, you know, of course, he's a rookie. You know, he's not a Chicago Cub. He's not playing that big market. He's not popular. Um, I think he was another guy I had going into – on the all-star game as well just based on how well he's hitting he, he can he can hit for power he's hit very you know he doesn't have the most home runs but he can he can hit for power doubles and stuff like that um <clears throat> excuse me um average he's uh he's doing really well um and, and of course steals i think he's still right up there in the league leaders if not still leading the league right now in steals uh but anyway um you know he's a fan favorite for the milwaukee brewers but um, but you know, back to Ryan Braun. Kind of, kind of lost my train of thought there. Um, basically, you know, you, you're you're looking at a guy that that was was once the fan favorite, and now you know simply you know lost it, lost that little bit of love appeal. I mean, he's still going to be um, a popular, polarizing figure, I guess, because he still can put up numbers when healthy. Um, I think he's proven that. I mean, even since the the PE scandals. I mean, the year after you know he won his MVP, the year that his his positive test came, um, he had a better year. And and even last year when healthy, he was hitting well. And when he was injured, obviously he he fell off a little bit. But um, <clears throat> um, yeah, just just not that fan favorite. And and parts of it too that you're not getting you know especially now I think the only people that would vote for him and, and maybe not even all Milwaukee Brewer fans would do so. And, and that would be obviously the Brewer fans that would, that would vote him in. And, uh, that's interesting to see, but uh, a guy that, that will get in the all-star game, probably, you know, this, this whole conversation, my, my past, you know, three minutes of rambling about this situation will be null and void. Cause he'll get in the all-star game anyway, because, um, you know, kind of like the the Pro Bowl people will back out with with minor injuries and stuff like that. But hey, this game still does mean something. Which I heard an interesting perspective too the other day. Speaking of the All Star Game that will be coming up here um, shortly, I believe next week, um, a couple weeks, I can't remember. Anyway, um, saying that you know, in like football or in some of these other sports, people back out because the game doesn't mean anything. It's past the season. They don't want to risk injury. And, and now it's almost as if, you know, especially the all-star break, it's, you know, the baseball season, it's a long grueling season that, that these players, some of these players just want to get some rest and, and can't quite do that when they have to play a game that, that really means something. And, and, um, and sometimes it makes these players a little, little bit tense and, and not able to, to really enjoy it or relax as much as they would, they would like to during the break. And, and sometimes you see it too with some of these guys that are either in the all-star game or home run derby or whatnot. They're par- partaking some of these activities that, that can't rest and relax. And they, they, uh, go out and, uh, just, can't I guess perform quite as well as they uh, they did the first half of the season. They kind of fall off. Man, I'm watching that card too for uh, for uh, tomorrow night's UFC 200. I'm just looking at that. You have Brock 